If you think gold is just for bling, think again. Shrink gold down to the nanoscale, and it starts behaving in wild, unexpected ways. Ready to have your mind blown? Gold nanoparticles are so small you'd need a million of them lined up just to cross the width of a human hair. But what's really special is that at this scale, gold stops acting like, well, gold. Instead of being shiny and yellow, these particles can appear bright red, purple, or even blue just by changing their size. That's not all. Their tiny size gives them superpowers, like slipping into cells, carrying medicines straight to where they're needed, or even helping doctors detect diseases earlier than ever before. And because gold is stable and safe, scientists love using it for everything from cancer treatment to environmental cleanup. So, next time you think gold is just for rings and necklaces, remember, in the world of science, it's the little things that shine brightest. Gold nanoparticles have some seriously weird optical powers. When gold is broken down into teeny tiny particles thousands of times smaller than a grain of sand, they stop acting like ordinary gold. Instead of the classic yellow shine, they actually scatter and absorb light in unexpected ways. The color you see depends on the size and shape of the nanoparticle. Round ones might look red, while rod-shaped particles can appear blue or even purple. This mind-bending property is called surface plasmon resonance, basically. Electrons on the surface vibrate with light waves, changing what we see. That's why gold nanoparticles are used in everything from rapid medical tests to high-tech sensors. Next time you see shimmering colors in a science lab, remember, it could just be gold, showing off its nano superpowers. When you shrink it down to the nanoscale, gold becomes a superstar in science. Here's why the tiny surface matters so much. So what's the deal with surface area? Well, at the nanoscale, things get weird, in a good way. Take a regular gold bar. Most of its atoms are hidden deep inside, not doing much. But shrink it down to nanoparticles, and suddenly, almost every atom is exposed on the surface, ready to interact. Now here's the cool part. When you have a massive surface area packed into such a tiny particle, you get superpowers. Gold nanoparticles become extremely reactive. They can grab onto molecules, speed up chemical reactions, and even sneak into cells for medical treatments. Picture this. If you flattened out all the gold in a single gram of nanoparticles, you could cover several tennis courts. This huge surface area is why gold nanoparticles are being used in everything from cancer detection to environmental cleanup. And it's not just about being small, it's about having more active sites, places where chemistry happens. More surface means more action. That's why scientists are obsessed with these golden specks. So next time you think about gold, don't just picture bling. Picture a tiny powerhouse with a surface area big enough to change the world. One nanoparticle at a time. But here's the cool part. Our bodies generally tolerate them really well. That means researchers can use them to deliver drugs right to sick cells, or even to target tumors with pinpoint accuracy. But why gold? It's super stable, non-toxic in small amounts, and doesn't mess with your body's chemistry. Scientists are still figuring out the safest doses and shapes, but early results look promising. Imagine a future where gold helps cure diseases, not just decorate your wrist. Making gold nanoparticles is like a tiny chemistry magic trick. We start with a solution of gold chloride. Think of it as liquid gold. Next, we add a reducing agent, often a common one like sodium citrate. As we stir and heat the mix, something amazing happens. The gold ions grab electrons and cluster into minuscule gold particles. You'll notice the color changes from pale yellow to a vibrant red or purple, classic sign that nanoparticles are forming. To stop them from clumping together, stabilizers are sometimes added. After a quick rinse and some filtering, you've got shiny, stable gold nanoparticles ready for science projects, medicine, or tech gadgets. And that's how we make gold nanoparticles in the lab, turning gold into something even cooler than treasure. Gold nanoparticles are revolutionizing how we diagnose and treat cancer. These tiny golden spheres, called gold nanoparticles, have unique properties at the nanoscale. Gold has long been prized for its beauty, but now it's making a difference in medicine. Engineers design nanoparticles with precise shapes and surfaces to interact with the body in remarkable ways. Once injected, gold nanoparticles travel through the bloodstream, reaching even the tiniest vessels. 
They can be engineered to seek out and attach to cancer cells, leaving healthy cells untouched. This makes tumors easier to spot in medical imaging, even at early stages. Early detection means better outcomes and more effective treatment. Gold nanoparticles can also deliver drugs directly to tumors, minimizing side effects. This targeted approach helps protect healthy tissue while attacking cancer cells. In some therapies, doctors use lasers to activate the nanoparticles inside tumors. The gold heats up, destroying cancer cells from within, without harming surrounding tissue. This innovative technique is called photothermal therapy. Researchers around the world are working to bring these breakthroughs to patients. Early results are promising, showing improved survival rates and fewer side effects. Gold's story stretches back thousands of years, but its future may be even brighter. With advanced technology, cancer can be found and treated earlier than ever before. Gold nanoparticles are giving new hope to patients and doctors worldwide. The revolution in cancer care is just beginning, and gold is at the heart of it. Scientists love them because they can fight cancer, detect diseases, and even improve electronics. But using them in real life? That's where things get tricky. First, making them safely and cheaply at a huge scale is tough. Then, there's the question of, are they toxic? We still don't know for sure how they affect our bodies and the environment long term. Plus, getting new nanoparticle tech approved by regulators? That's a slow, expensive process. But here's the exciting part. If we crack these challenges, gold nanoparticles could revolutionize medicine, energy, and tech. Imagine cancer treatments with fewer side effects, faster disease detection, or super-efficient electronics. So, while gold nanoparticles have a shiny future, there's a lot to figure out first. The next decade? It's going to be golden for science.